you saw the um, you saw the picture I sent you of the the sideways monitor, right? Your new setup. Yeah. Yeah. I'm actually feeling this thing, dude. I really am. I got <clears throat> got a little bit of a thing I'm trying tonight. We're gonna do some recording of the trip and see what happens. I'm kind of irritated though, because one of the games that I was looking at was that Star Trek Online game. Mm -hmm. And while I like the game, I just, I don't know how, I don't know how I feel about the fact that it's going to run in display capture and not game capture which is frustrating I guess to say the least for me because I'm used to all my games running in game capture which is just they look better and everything else <sighs> why am I taking forever to log in I have no idea why you're taking forever to log in why have I not <sighs> I don't even know if I'm <laughs> it's one of them things where I logged in but I didn't log in so we're gonna see what happens Oh, okay. Wow, I did actually. Did I log in? I don't think I did. I might have, I might have already been kicked. <laughs> <laughs> Taking too long, man. Taking too long. Yeah. Content change detected. Updating the map. Data. I don't want you to update. So, are you excited for Arkansas? That'd be interesting. I'm. I'm hey, I was instantly kicked. Yeah, that ain't, that ain't gonna surprise me at all. I mean, I was surprised by the announcement that they're working on Arkansas because I'd have figured that they'd have kept plugging north with, you know, because they've already announced Nebraska. <laughs> right. Well, they're probably already. Yeah, they're already working on Nebraska. And so now you have... You have Kansas that's on deck. And then you have Nebraska that's coming. That's because um, they've announced it. And you only had two more states to go. Two more! Right. You had was two more. You had South Dakota and North Dakota. Well, maybe they're pushing a smaller state. That's what some people Between in the community TV. believe, is that they decided to go ahead and zig off and hit Arkansas because it's a it's a state that they can do detail in and everything else. I mean, think about Louisiana. You've got all the, the detail of the way, the way the outflow of the Mississippi is through the swamp. Um, so that might be why they went ahead and chose Arkansas first instead of that's the only math I can come up with. Um, it really, i not lying, it shot my whole plan all to pieces whenever I was talking to people about it. Alright, um, so are you gonna just not? Alright, I'm already kicked. I honestly don't know what to do. Off the game. Huh? I'm kicked off the game already. What? What'd you do? Yeah, nothing. It keep no. It keeps kicking me. It keeps booting or uh, saying connect or connection broken or something like that. Let me try to get here. I don't even. Crap. <clears throat> I think it says I have a weak connection. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Very least yeah, you don't probably... let me out. Oh, oh, downloading my, my freaking game just acting a fool right now. I'm just not even. Oh, so is mine. Oh, my game froze up. Like, oh. it just froze all the way up. It got into a loading spot and it was all like, mm, and I'm all like, well, anyhow. Oh, yeah, by the way, I'm up to level 46 now. I've been, I've been going up levels. I've also been doing long hauls. Oh, wow. 
Yeah, I, I know you're up higher than I am. No, that ain't, that ain't it. That ain't it. I'm just trying to figure out how to do some of this. this is one, one time I thought I had it. Okay, finally that thing went away. Let's see. Texarkana. Where do I want to? Where do we want to go? I'm in Texarkana. You're in Texarkana. Yeah. Oh, I, I redid my whole garage too, man. I did. I redid all my trucks. Golly, that was good. Okay. I haven't even visited the town of Omak, in Washington. I'm not surprised by this. Huh. I'm at like 42% of map. I don't even know what I'm at. And, and I'm just, I'm at that point of difference. Like, I, part of me cares, part of me doesn't care because no matter how much I want to be a completionist on it, it's like, ugh. Okay, let's see. The audio. Let's just see how everything. Omak, Washington. I got some people that's gonna complain about this. Reefer. You do you, movie. You do you. Oh, got a new mug. Last time y'all seen me. You ever been to Bucky's? Huh? Do what? I was asking you, have you ever been to Bucky's? In, re in, in, in real, life? real life, bro. Come on. No. 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 I have not. I have not. Let's see. Gallon oil, sunshine crops. Let me take the fiber sugar for eggs. No, I haven't. Need to. Huh? Hey, you need to go to Bucky's. If you ever get you an ever opportunity to go to Bucky's. Fun. I have you ever been to a come and go? Huh? <laughs> have I ever been to a what? Come and go? Oh my god. John Tarp. No, I'm being legit. I bet you are. <laughs> or a Wawa? I've heard of Wawa. I've heard of Wawa. <laughs> and for the longest time, I thought Wawa was. Spanish word for station word. The next place you need to go mm -hmm. is the uh, um, Route 66 or Route 66 uh, big truck stop in Iowa. 
Route 66 truck stop. Are you talking about yep. the I-80? Yeah. The old Route the 66. The Iowa 80? Yeah. I'm going to say, because there's... John, I want you to understand. I, I'm not a smart man. But I do understand the roadways in the U.S. of A. And there's no Route 66 in Iowa. <laughs> yeah, there's. Route 66 yeah, is in Iowa? I thought Route 66 was no, down Bruce, further south. Route, no, Route 66 runs right straight through Illinois. No kidding. Yeah, it's it's the Route yeah, 66. Yeah, but Illinois, okay, but Illinois is like right beside Missouri, right? Iowa and Missouri. Iowa and Missouri? Okay, well, yeah. I guess yeah, it, it does borders. Too. It does. It, it borders. Because actually, if you go up to um, up north of Quad Cities, this is uh, Illinois right here where the mouse is. <laughs> hang on, where are you? Hang on. Sc it, share your screen. I'm looking. Uh, I'm looking at the map in game. I know. I don't know how to hang share on. my screen. You talking about on Discord, right? Yeah. I got a tab over. Hang tight. I just did. <laughs> because actually, if you if you go up to the Quad Cities in Illinois, there's an actual triangle roadway, a road system. Mm -hmm. It actually hits Wisconsin, Iowa, and Illinois. Okay. Y'all bear with me. He's. Uh... Okay, that might be why I'm seeing that might be why I'm seeing such having such a hard time here. Oh and uh OBS, you can do game capture. Huh? You can do game capture in OBS. Yeah, you can do game capture in Streamlabs too. They built Streamlabs. Oh, that's why I couldn't do it. Share screen. Okay. Your American computer. Okay. There you go. Alright, I figured it out. It's not going to let me see it because. Well, you go to your normal, go to the go back into your game, and you'll be able to. Yeah. All right. Um. Let's see. Okay. So, here's the mouse, right here. Can you see it? Yeah. Okay. Good. There's Illinois. That's Iowa. So if you go up, that's Missouri. Yeah. If you go up the corner. Which corner? Cor left. Right here. Right in there. So right in there, there's an actual triangle, and and on an actual map, you can within five minutes either way you can hit all three states. You I hit all it, three, and there ain't one down here either. <laughs> not, not to hit Iowa, or I meant Missouri, or, uh, West. Coast. Damn, Missouri, Michigan. No, this is this where the mouse is is Missouri. Though. Yeah. This is Iowa. That's Minnesota. 
Yeah. Um, wow, I can't even say my name, my state's right. Wow, I messed up. Yeah. But this is the new fancy state they're gonna make. Yeah. Arkansas. Why didn't they not go up and do South Dakota and North Dakota? Yeah. Search me, bro. I have no idea why they didn't do that. Are you missing a state? No, I'm not. Kansas hasn't oh, released yeah. yet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see, I've got all the states. I got Oklahoma, Texas. I got New Mexico, Colorado, Wyoming, Montana, Idaho, Utah. Utah, give me two. <clears throat> Arizona, California, Nevada, Oregon, and Washington. <sighs> like I said, they were only two states away from having the middle of the country done. Yeah. Two states away from having the middle of the country done. And I'm like, really? Now y'all gonna screw it up. But well, that's okay, because it gave me the opportunity to take all of my trucks and relocate all of my personal trucks to Oklahoma. I will not be relocating them again, only because um, they add new trucks, and I'll probably just assign you them. You really don't have too many more trucks to go, really. Yeah. I mean, I'm just hoping they add more tuning packs. That would be kind of freaky. That would be cool. So I was playing with uh, the... Uh, I think it was the Mac. No, it wasn't the Mac. It was the... Uh, do, do, do. Let me get back in the game. Second. Yeah, that's why I had to jump back out of the map. <laughs> I, don't... I didn't get my... Uh... Nebraska paint job. You didn't get your Nebraska paint job? No. I would kind of hope you didn't get your Nebraska paint job there, Sonny Jim, because ain't nobody Not Nebraska. got their Nebraska paint job. Not Nebraska. Not Nebraska. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <sighs> I'm Oklahoma. Having fun. I'm having fun. Oklahoma. Great. This is freaking awesome. I am having too much fun with this right now. And yes, I caught myself using a cuss word. I ain't worried about it. Do you? you Alright, so do I need a scraper? I'm using a reefer. You're using a reefer? Yeah. Oh, you got it. You didn't. So, you... Alright, fine. That'll work. I've switched over from using flatbed. Yeah, you switched over from using... Alright, let me check it out. Let's see what I got. Oh, sweet. I do have a trailer. No, I, I, I funneled it all down, man. Uh, let me tell you, that was... How can I put this? That was annoying to do all that work. Put all those drivers in various places. I'm not even gonna... In fact, I'm going to use a different trailer. Oh, jeez, and I just got my freaking drive in. Come on. No, I meant truck. Truck, truck. 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 Are you sure it's truck and not something else? I'm gonna use a different truck. Okay. I built a new truck. Built a new truck? Yeah. It's still a triple axle. Why would you? I don't know, because that was fun. You built a triple axle truck? Yep. Okay. Alright, so let's see. We gotta hit the map. Dodge manager. Yeah, I ended up narrowing it down to where uh I think but I think 
I have four drivers in Montana, Wyoming, Idaho, most of Utah, all of Colorado, a couple in um, Mexico, all of the state of Texas, and every bit of uh, Oklahoma. I have four drivers in those garages. So, that's pretty good. So, we'll see how that works. I honestly don't know. But I hope. Oh, crap. Everybody and their mama here, ain't they? Really? I don't know what's fixing to happen. I just warped into the shop over here at, uh... Do this. Oh, do you do? Surprise, surprise, I see it in your eyes. What the hell's going on? What's up, buddy? Uh, sit there and check my, uh, my motorcycle to the first car show. I won. You took your motorcycle to the first car show? Yep. Awesome. I won. Funny part was we had two of them today. We had uh, one was a, a memorial car show up to high school, and then uh, Davis Bessie with the nuclear power plant. They they have theirs the same day. So I, I took my bike from the first one, got first place. Out of six bikes, I and they were full dressers. Mine's not. I got first place, and then I turned around and took it over to Davis Betsy, and I got first place there too. Right on. Two car shows in one day. Well, there you go. It's you. Over there, I didn't like your some special with your new hot rod. Best part was I got to sit there and I, I smoked the fucking tires right there, all the way down the, the main strip in Oak Harbor. Oh, God. And the guy in the cops were standing around. <laughs> of course they yeah. were. No, I did see the picture you shared and uh, My son-in-law has a uh, uh, 2022 uh, Street Glide. Uh -huh. My bike and the, and my uh, my other son-in-law has a Ultra Glide. Wow. My bike, you know, it, the, the Ultra Glide has all the fucking bells and full full bit. Comfort wise, my bike's better. Yeah, John, I actually do have a trip axle Kenworth W. <laughs> not, not, it's not a Kenworth. Oh, yours isn't a Kenworth? What is it? Uh, you don't even know what truck you're driving right now, do you? No, I just switched to it. Just switched to it? Yeah. International Lone Star. Oh. That's right, you can make the Lone Star's trip axe. Have you guys ever figured out how to do the save edits? No. I haven't worried I about the save. I honestly haven't worried about the save edits to be completely. Because I was actually looking to I was looking to see if you could do it to the not five thirty. Let's see if you can do that ratty Volvo. You can do you can do save edits to any one of them. No 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 no. I'm talking about the long chassis that comes with the game. Uh, yeah, you take the long chassis. You do deal with the yeah, long chassis, but you can. But you can, but you can add. You can add 
uh, to save edit and still play it in multiplayer, mm -hmm. uh, you can save edit to make your Chrome look even more Chrome. Yeah, yeah, you told me about that one on the phone that one time. Yeah, that's that. that to me, that's it, it's one of those things where I don't mind playing and running with friends and having fun. But at the same time, it's like it, it, there's just there's a point where you start taking it too seriously, and it's. <laughs> well, I mean, if you just want to make your, I mean, not not to sit there and be oh. better than anybody else, you just want to make, you know, your what you have look really good. I mean, you can, you know, do the save edit to make it look on your sa uh, the same principle you have and same paint job just to make it look so much better mm -hmm. and if anybody wants to to do that uh, I would be more than happy to hey, explain to them how to do it how to do it you be like hey I got you I'm your huckleberry I'll show them how to do it I mean, we even go as far as, like, uh, like the, most of the, in the game is, the biggest is a nine axle. You talking about for trailers or for trucks? For trailers. Oh, God. Yeah, we, uh, won't, we won't even talk about that. That's just... I, I, oh, I can, I can oh, make, wow. I can make it a 15 axle. Why? I can make your truck a Why? Uh, an you, eight. You axle. gotta give me some explanation. Why? The longer, the better. The longer, the better. You know, I forgot. So I bought one because I didn't have one because I forgot, and I guess it's because I just wasn't that interested when it came out or when it got announced. But um, apparently. I forgot that SCS put in the International 9900i. Yeah? yeah? I forgot about that. No, right now I'm looking at the trucks that I have to see which ones accommodate the wheel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can hey. you, we can sit there and make it. You, we can make it to where you have uh, LED lights all the way down the side of that motherfucker. <laughs> of course, of course. As if it's not shiny and bright enough, let's add some more lights. No, no. Heck, that shit. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, I, that's pretty much what. John has right there. I'm not. I just. I have one for my Kenworth because I do not look at the Lone Star as a. I, I don't view the Lone Star. Now, I could be wrong. I do not view the Lone Star as a. I don't view it as a heavy haul truck. I just don't. Can it be a heavy haul truck? Absolutely. Any truck in the game, you could make a T680 freaking heavy haul truck. It was never meant to be. No, it wasn't. It, the it, old KWs and your old Peterbilts, yeah, those were meant for a heavy haul, but you uh, <coughs> Lone Star was not. That was meant for just every day over the road. Now, see, I I like the fact that with Peterbilt and the Kenworth the, or the the 389 and a W900 specifically. I like the fact that when you do those trucks up, you get the option for either uh, lift axles or you get just a straight, you know, six wheeled setup for your drive axle. I like that. That to me, that's nice. It gives you the option. I figure if you're going to do it to, uh, to some trucks, you might as well go ahead and do it all. Well, they don't, they don't have it. Uh, I mean, there's things that you can do to the Kenworth and the Peterbilt you can't do with the Lone Star. Well, 
Well, that's what I'm saying. See, I wish they would do that to make it so you could put a triple axle setup under a table. Does it make a lot of sense to do that? Probably not. Would it be cool? Sure. Yeah, I mean, E6As and stuff like that. I I don't well, even I don't, I don't even use them. No, you I don't, don't like them. You don't. But like the T680, for instance, the 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 one the one that old Jeff used to call soccer mom, right? And I, I've had that truck since I started this program. This is my first truck I ever bought. If you look at the truck listing, all right, for all of my trucks. Truck number one, Kenworth T680. Been that way since day one. And that's because that's the one I wanted. I mean, but, and the thing is, I redid the list. I redid the list and then just threw the W900 right underneath it and threw the 579P, 389P. I basically tried to throw the trucks in order of when they were released because... The Volvo v &L was released, then it was the International Lone Star, then it was the Mac Anthem, and then it was the Fester Star 48, 49X, which is, as long as you put a bunk on it, even though it's a Freightliner bunk, it's all right, I guess. Um, I have one truck that's not driven by anybody, <laughs> and that's because if I go into configure, it brings up an error message, because it was a modded truck. And it was modded prior to the times when you could do this. It says missing mod detected. Actually, I think I think the mod hasn't updated, or I haven't updated the mod one of the two, which is a lot. But anyhow, uh, missing mod detected. The affected vehicle parts are eligible for a refund. You can click confirm order to apply the refund or exit without any changes if you choose to install the missing mod later. So I yeah, don't even that's, have... that's, that's a paid mod. No. No, this came off Steam Workshop. This is my long chassis day cab uh, W900. Oh, back in that, yeah, you have definitely have, you have to, whenever they went to the, the long chassis, where you could, you could pull it off the of Steam Workshop. Yeah. And that's when everybody else was sitting there and taking, uh, you know, the regular, uh, you know, the longest one and yeah, they were uh, taking the they, one. They were taking the sleeper truck W nine hundred and just putting a taking the the bunk off and putting on just a day cap. Yeah, they were they were save editing because it wasn't allowed. Yeah, uh, that's that's where you were having the problem with that one. I'm not worried about that. Because I don't even have a driver in the seat of that truck. That truck is sitting in a garage just chilling. And honestly, it's there mainly for nostalgia. That's the only reason it's there. That truck is... Yeah, no driver at all. And just sitting there. Not bothering us all. But all my other trucks have drivers. As a matter of fact, I went out of my way and bought an extra truck because now I have garage space. So I went out of my way and bought an extra truck just to put a driver in the truck because I knew I was leaving that one too. Because you're, I'm supposed, I have 355 drivers, but I have 356 trucks. Now technically, I could sell that rascal and just be done with it. I already messed with that. Sell it. Sit there and go. I haven't even played the game for a while. <laughs> Excuse me. Yep, I just sold it. I didn't care. Day cabs don't do nothing for me, to be honest. They just, they don't. I, I like, because to me, when you do a day cab, you can't put, you can't actually enjoy the truck the way it should be enjoyed. Once you put, you know, once you sit there and you put a day cab on it, you know, the only way to well, truly enjoy the trucks I, is to have a I full enjoyed it. and everything. Made I enjoy it you can put on, all the, on the, the fact lights. that whenever I learned how to save edit the shit, mm -hmm. 
Where are we going to? That, that I could make that uh, truck, you know, the way I wanted it. You know, and, and you know, even the international. Everybody was always bitching about the international. You know, I love the front. You know, the front of the international. That's why back when you know Jeff and everybody, I was sitting there. I was running the international day cap, and I had it. Extended. Which one, the Lone Star? Yeah, the Lone Star. Yeah. Uh, see, now here's the thing. Uh, the very first time I ever saw, right after the Lone Star came out. I was like, I don't know what that truck is. I know it's pretty because there was a trucking company that operated and it. They were literally a family owned trucking company that operated out of the town that I lived in. And they sit there and they, um, I don't even know if they're still in business, but at the time, all they had was International Eagles. Well, then all of a sudden, started seeing one of their trucks because it had their branding on the side of it but it wasn't an eagle and they it was right around the time the lone stars had come out i tell you what i saw one of those it was a gorgeous blue it was beautiful and i'm a red guy so if i'm saying it was gorgeous it's gorgeous and i will never forget when the first time i saw that I looked at that truck, and when I saw that nose, I said, black that truck out. If Darth Vader was a truck driver, that's the truck he would be. Never, ever forget that. My thing was uh, maximum overdrive. Perfect truck. What? How did we go from talking about the International Lone Star to maximum overdrive? <laughs> you ever watch that movie yeah I've seen Maximum Overdrive probably you know about 50 times you take a star and you put that fucking face on the front of it it's a fucking fit well yeah I'm not gonna say it's not I mean you know the Happy Toys truck the leader of the pack is there in that movie that was and whenever whenever that Lone Star come out it was a fucking perfect perfect yeah truck to put that put that nose on yeah buddy <clears throat> I mean I mean granted I do like the internationals only because you know, all the trucks my my dad had were all the International Transstar 2s, cab overs. So, I love International, because most Internationals at that time had Detroit diesels in them. Yep. And I love Detroit diesel. Hey, I John, are you still having issues? Yeah. You, you, did you get kicked? Yeah, I did. I'm here. I come back in. Okay, I was thinking to say, what in the world has happened here? I do not like an international or a, uh, you know, other than a Detroit Diesel power plant. I like Detroit Diesel. Love the sound. Cummins. Yeah, that, that's why I went out Cat of my way. Cannot compare to an old AB92 uh, with uh, twin turbo and supercharger. You cannot compare a cat to that. No, of course not. The only thing the caterpillars have is the, the fact <clears throat> that they're, you know, they just got power. That's. But if you sit there and take an, uh, an AB92 that is twin turboed and supercharged, uh, you're talking a torque mod. Well, yeah. In, compared to a cat? I mean, that's like throwing the 5,000 horsepower mod into uh, your truck in single player. <laughs> Pulling wheelies. <laughs> I'll never forget when we all found that. Well. I mean, my dad's trucks. We had we had a 16B92. Whenever he was pulling, uh, you know, brake 
you know, rotors for uh, Jones Motor Freight. Mm -hmm. 130,000 pounds. He could sit there and take off and, and loft the fucking front wheels on that truck. On a cab over. Okay, now if it's a cab over, that's serious torque. I tell you what, I mean, cab overs don't, don't, don't get me twisted up. The, There's I, an international I don't even know what it too. was. I'd have to look it up, but it was a, with it, a 16B92 underneath of it. It's, it had a box coming out the back to cover up the engine. See, I don't know what it was, what what the model was, but I do know it was a Kenworth. The Kenworth cab over nice. I personally like the not just because it's a, the brand, it's just I like the way they did the bunk area. I mean, as far as the outer design, it looks gorgeous. Let's go find something. I'm back. Of course you are. What happened? I no, was just gave me a pain in my rear end. The game. Game? Yeah, it was being a pain. Smash it! I keep getting kicked out. I keep getting kicked out. Mm hmm. Kicked. Your, your inner webs are all jacked up that you keep getting kicked out, my guy. It usually does it a couple of times and. It's good, usually. Alrighty. I was thinking about going to Omark. You were thinking about going to where? Omark. Omark? Yeah. Okay. Washington. Let's go. Yeah. And then... I'm going to take my load from Taylor Construction Group to Omark, Washington to the Eddies. Copy that. Are you going to the Eddies in Washington? Omar. Oy vey. Where is that place? Um. Oh, you're going to Omar. Mark. Okay, so how are you going? Are you going through the middle of the country or are you going to go 40 to the 5 and up? You can do 40 to the 5 and up if you want. Or. I don't, I don't care, however you want to do it. I don't care. This is your, this is your deal, bro. I'm just kind of here. Let's see which way it takes us first. Yeah, I know that. Okay. Right. Job offer. Let's see. Uh, go pick up my load. Share it with me before you do that. See if we can share the load. Uh, I mean, if not, then it's fine, but. I just use the uh, job dispatcher off your tab menu. Yeah. Okay. Taylor like, Construction uh, on, Group on Facebook mm. that I dealt with down in Florida. He lives in Texas. I'm watching drag racing that's in Texas. And the only thing he's mad about right now is because I fucked his system. Angel and Kina has sit there and uh, whenever I talk to them, they, they ask me, do you still talk to um, uh, the guy with the white hair? I'm like, yeah. Who's 
Look, look, look. Say hi. Oh, well, you tell them I said hi. Tell them, don't be strangers. They can't have me as a friend on Facebook. I mean, I've known them girls since they were nine. They don't really talk to me much right now either. What did so. you do? Uh, divorce her mom. Well, okay, well, no offense, their, their mom went slightly crazy. What can she do? I mean, I'm not trying to be, I'm not trying to be funny or take sides in that deal. What I've heard, their mom, you know. Well, Abby. I, I, you know, I don't expect you to take sides. You make oh. your own choice. No, no, I'm not gonna. I, I couldn't take sides, even if I wanted to. What are you doing, John Boy? I mean, if you if you told me that you're friends with them on or and friends with Lori on Facebook, I'm not. And you talk to her, uh, I would sit there and and I, I would say I don't have a problem with that. I was at one time. Okay, I'm back. I mean, I hate I hate her with a passion right now. But I Why do you I'm going to ask this. You know, but I would wish in the future, for her, I wish her the best of luck. Well, why do you hate her? Look at your life right now compared to what it was. Because... That whole situation cost me about $40,000. Yeah, okay, I get that. Didn't cost her nothing. Cost me about forty thousand dollars. I get that. Cost me losing a a, a house and um, two cars. But if I sit there and I ran across her today, I would still say hi to her. I would still be that's polite. Not... Well, that's what I was gonna say. You know. I mean, you you had that whole situation go down the way it did. Be honest. I came out. I came out better. You know, even though it sucked, I ended up coming out better in the in the whole long run because you know I sit there and. I got with my, back with my uh, very first girlfriend. Yeah, you did. Love her to death. You do. I'm still here. You are. She sat there and she moved on. Uh, I'm sorry to, to hear that uh, the guy that she got with, you know, he passed away. Um, But I don't think she wants to hear, you know, me say, you know, uh, I'm sorry for what happened. Right. So I just, I just don't, I, I just don't conversate with. Her. Well, I mean, that's like my ex-wife and I. I don't. I talk can be, to her. I can be, I can be the biggest dick in the world. Well, of course. But. Hey John, are we uh, are we rolling t uh, forty to five, or are we just gonna follow the GPS? I mean, look. It's. I mean, when, whenever I sit there and I left, uh, you know, Angel still, you know, I talked to Angel Bikina. Uh, I, I don't really talk to her very much, but I know what she's doing. Uh, she she's over she's in Bowling Green Ohio yeah and, and she's selling cars and she's doing a very good job at what she's doing I at one point 
I was thinking about going over and you know when she's at work mm -hmm. just going over <laughs> there to sit there and say hi to tell her you might not want to talk to me but just know I love you yeah I get that alright you're my kid. Uh, what would you do, John? Are you just leaving it set as is, no warranties, or are we just? No. We're taking the forty to the five, all the way up to. And you're just gonna let it follow Everett. Up yeah. Well, it takes us up to Everett, down to Went or Went to Chi, up to Omar. Right, right, right. That's what it's taking. Copy that. I know you. Did. You sound like you you have. Uh come to terms with what what went on with you and you're happy so did you take you the found... five all the way up to seattle uh... i'm just asking and i will get to your so i was taking the 40 all the way to bakersfield yep, yep. jumping on the five after bakersfield then it's going up to everett So you're going to roll through Ke Plymouth Falls on the 97? Or you or you actually marked it to ever? Okay, yeah, I see what you did. Never mind. I see it. Let's, yeah, right here. I dig it. I dig it. I dig it. Copy that. All right, cool. Yeah, that'll be a lot better. That'll be a fun ride. All right, let's roll. Probably gonna run about seventy-five. Yeah, I know you gotta you gotta do your deal. You sound like you're more happy than what you were before. Well, it's <laughs> it, it's kind of. I didn't go into my marriage like I did not go into it, you know, with the thought of eh, this is where it's a something better come. I just that was not in my brain. I went into it, you know, like I do everything else. I went into it full tilt. Oh yeah, it was full tilt. Yeah. I mean I went into it full tilt buggy, you know, ready for all the good and all the bad that came along with it no matter what. So that being said, you know, it was... Which is, which is what I did, you know, with you know my first wife and then with Lori. And, you know, I gave it everything I had. And I think that's the way you did it, too. Keep right, and then exit right. Yeah, I did. But, I mean... but if you give it everything you have... And nobody on the other side is giving it back. Keep rolling, John. Get kicked. Yeah, everything's it's screwed good. Keep up. Going. It, it gets screwed up. It does. I mean, that, and that's the biggest thing is when I did that, it was. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Don't die. But when I did that, it was like. You know, okay. Once we split, it was just. It was like, okay. I, I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. You know, I, I just didn't know at that point. It was like, okay. So, I finally just came. Well, to you don't know. Me. You never know how to react. No, and I didn't. And that's the thing. So many people were like, I had to turn the volume down a little bit on the game. Um, but the thing is, I... When I sit there and got, and got told, you know, I, you know, 
basically, long and short, when I got told I wanted right. a Porsche, I'm like, hey, you know, but, but is there anything we can do to fix this? Is there anything we can do to make this better or what have you? And I was told very emphatically, somebody new and I want to pursue this and I'm like all right oh you and right. go right ahead and do you I mean well me, when it comes for to me stuff being like that off, for me being pissed when it off, comes to something like that it is not you it is that's where that's where she it comes down to, it, it comes down to it's her yeah she has a different it's outlook of what everything was going on yeah, you are absolutely correct. And she wasn't seeing you in the picture. No, she found she found what she wanted in life. And, you know, a, a lot of people, when we and her split, a lot of people were like, wow, so you're not mad at her? I'm like, why am I going to be mad? She left you for somebody else. Me being mad about it wouldn't have done it like a good. It would have just created more problems than it solved. I I would have to look on the fact of okay. If you, if you were married for a while, we were married and, for six years, and you had to sit there and find out that she was cheating on you. I've always been of the mindset with her, and I've always been of the mindset with every woman that I've ever dated. If, <coughs> if you find that you want to find somebody else for your life, do me a solid. At least give me a heads up. Don't let me find out by you lying to me about it. Just tell me the well, truth. But see, that's so if you that's tell me the I'm truth saying. outright, I'm going to be I'm a saying. lot easier to deal with than if I find out you lie. Because if I find out you lie, it's first and foremost, I'm not going to lie to you. Don't lie to me. I don't like them. Because I'm sorry, if I sit there and I go out to a bar and I see I see you with somebody else, uh, somebody's gonna die. <laughs> now, Rob, we 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 we're buddies, been buddies for a long time. We're practically brothers. You know, I mean, we got a 20 plus year friendship going on here. So I just want you to know, man, if you see me at a bar with somebody else, I'm not cheating on you. I swear. I still love you. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna kill you. I don't want you but, to kill uh, me or the person I'm with. <laughs> but, but I will sit there and and, and you'll make say, you you'll, talk you'll my salad. You will definitely shoot me in the kneecaps. <laughs> I will make you talk my salad. Oh, bet you will. <laughs> you want to go there? Right, you'll go there. Hey, yeah, no doubt. <laughs> now, but um, but no, seriously, when. You know, once everything, once I went through my month of the five stages of grief, I finally just hit acceptance. And I never really hit denial. I, I truthfully, I, I, I was in a spot at certain points where I just felt like, this is not fair. She, she shouldn't be happy. But then after I got through it all, it was like, okay, she deserves it. That's what she wants. If he makes her happy, and I couldn't make her happy, what have you, then fine. And we saw each other earlier this year, you know. And being legally married, uh, you, you do end up having to sign certain documents even after you're no longer legally married. And so, yeah, we got a return from a uh, state that was joint that I had overpaid. And I ended up having to go to where I used to live, met her, and him, and she asked, is it okay if I bring you with me? I'm like, yeah, sure, no problem. I don't care. Well, of course, I'm not going alone, and I'm not walking into that situation, you know, defenseless. What did I do? I grabbed Tech. I was like, yo, Tech, I need you. Come help me. Borrowed him for about an hour. Me and her met at the bank. She whips out the check, hands it to me, tells me the dollar amount, and she told me a dollar amount over the phone. I'm like, a $10 check? I don't know. You know, it's like, whatever. But 
then I read the check and I looked at her and I spun the check in my hand and I said, Mom, that's a lot of money. And then Tex looking through all the paperwork because, again, you know, family. I mean, he's been he's like a brother to me for 20 plus years of friendship. He ain't a friend. Just like, you know, anarchist Rob, whatever I call him. I can call him whatever I want due to the fact that we've been friends for 20 years. He ain't just a friend. He's like family to me. We don't talk every day, but we don't have to talk every day. Um, nope. But he goes, hey, you got the check, right? I'm like, yeah. He's like, okay, cool. I'm like, yeah. Um, he goes, and what's this? And he hands me the other check. And I'm like, okay. The other check was for like, you know, a lot more than $10, too. And uh, the, the total combined amount between the two checks was like 180 pieces that I had overpaid. I was like, cool. So, you know, me being me, I was going to be nice and I was going to break her off some. So we signed, you know, we signed the checks, got them cashed. I got the money back. The lady handed it to me and it kind of pissed her off when that happened. And so she handed me my debit card, my license, and the money handed my ex-wife her license. We walked out and I stopped at the front of their car because they parked up at the curb, you know, like they're important people. I parked my truck over yonder at the way because I'm not that important and I'm not that privileged where I need to walk, you know, three feet to get in the door. So, you know, I'm okay with walking. It doesn't bother me. Oh, and, you didn't um, have a handicap picker? No, they, they didn't park in a handicap spot, but I don't think they give out handicap stickers for mental handicap. Okay. Wow, you just went there. <laughs> I kind of smirked. <laughs> I couldn't help. I mean, you went there. I have a handicap placard in my truck. Yeah, I mean, but you, you your body's like broken. Your body's all beat and banged up. I mean, you know, you, you're beaten and banged up worse than most better. You I've were not shot, kind to I've your body. I've been shot more than <laughs> most better. Let's put it like this. If memory serves, correct me if I'm wrong, and if I'm speaking out of turn, let me know. Um, did you or did you not shatter your ankle when you fell off the battery box of a semi when you were three on break? Yep. I see. There you go. I've never shattered my ankle. Also, uh, Came close. Hyper, extended, hyper extended both my knees. Hyper, well, that's backwards. what you get for trying to do gymnastics in the shower. Oh, that was just for sex. <laughs> that's why I said it. That's why I said it. Um, I mean, you gotta go for it. Yeah, <laughs> go for the gold. But that's what I'm saying. And the whole time, when we first got there, she had served me sweet. I mean, she wasn't really super, I mean, she was cool. She wasn't like, you know, super syrupy sweet. I don't want to lay it on that thick. But she was kind, you know what I'm saying? In a in a polite way. And I was sweet with that. I'm like, yeah, all right, cool. We, we might actually be able to get somewhere here today. This is going to be good. Oh, it was, then, then oh, it was man, better than the situation the, with Lori. We walked out of the bank, bro. Let me tell you, all right? We walked out of the bank, and when we walked out of the bank, I had the money in my hand. I stopped in front of their car, and I was fixing to peel her off half of this money because, I mean, I'm a, I'm a good guy, you know? Did she deserve it? No. Um, did she earn it? No. But I was just going to do it to be nice. Yeah, she goes right around me, right around Tech, and then opens the car door with such ferocity that if she'd have done it any harder, that car door would have snapped off. And she goes, have a good day, James. And I'm all like, <laughs> I mean, just the look on my face was like, what? Her man like, looks at, her wow, man. Wow, what a bitch. Yeah, her man <laughs> looks at me. I look at him and I'm like, I don't know what to tell you, my guy. I just, it, that was the look I was conveying to him. Like, what was that about? What did you do? And, it's like, uh, and he's welcome. Looking, and he's looking at me all confused. Like, that happened fast. What happened there? I looked at him. I said, have a good day, bud. <laughs> Grab safe. <laughs> and I told him, I was like, cause right before I told him, right before I walked off, 
I almost told him, hey, ain't no you know. I was gonna peel y'all's off. Some of this. Oh, crap. Um, not only did I go the wrong way, but I also screwed up. And Did you just roll your truck? No, I didn't roll my truck. I would never do that. No way. I believe that when the shit turns up and smells like rainbow sherbet. Oh, I see that. Well, my, mine with uh, Lori was a lot more heated than that. Well, yeah, of course. Y'all had a lot more involved than I did, too. I didn't have nothing involved. I mean, I cried. Not gonna lie. I was, you know, like they said in Varsity Blue. Bob cried because he is a crier. I cried because I'm a crier. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not even mad at the fact that I cried. I was pissed I mean, when they I found was, out she I sat there and sold my I fucking Volkswagen. I was upset when everything went down the way it did. And, like, okay. You know, we're, we're gonna be alright, you know? But I look at everything that's happened to me in the last three years, right? I, I've been moved. Me and her have been, we've been separated for over three years now. Our divorce, we finalized two years in November. So, I mean, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at her. I mean, oh, as well, uh, when you said finalized, I was like, uh, uh, it's not already finalized? Yeah, no, our divorce got finalized. Uh, our divorce got finalized November of 2021. Happiest day of my life. I walked into courtroom. Judge looked at me and goes, Well, sir, uh, we, we, we noticed here that you didn't receive the paperwork in a, in a timely fashion, so we're going to extend this out. I looked at the judge and I said, No, you're not. The judge looked at me, he goes, uh, Well, we need to schedule another court date for this. I said, no, you don't. I said, I'll sign whatever you need me to sign right now. The judge looks at me, he goes, okay. Had the clerk bring me out a piece of paper and everything. I signed it basically waving the fact that I got an extra time or whatever. He looks at me at the end of it, he goes, anything you'd like to say to her, sir? I said, no. I said, I only got one thing to say to her. I wish her the best of luck in her future endeavors. I future endeavored that woman right in the hole whole courtroom. <laughs> Wasn't even mad at it. Wasn't mad at her. Matter of fact, to tell you the truth, we even walked out together and I gave her a hug. I gave her a hug. I told her I said, you take care of yourself and I'll catch you on the flip side. And then there, there wasn't going to go with, uh, with mine. And I still, to this day, I get phone calls uh, for uh, references for uh, Mike Van Loon, which is uh, Lori's brother. Why the hell is he putting me as a reference? Well, I mean, did you have a problem with him? Yeah, he's a fucking asshole. Oh, I told him to go fucking die. Oh, die in a fire. <laughs> Jeez. Why is he Jeez. sitting there putting me hey, as a fucking hey, John, reference? John, when he said that, you do realize what I just said. I just had, I just had flashback? that flashback. I just had that flashback of all them GTA streams I did, and that one, um, that one stream highlight where we had that one modder that was just trolling us like nobody's business, and I, and I finally went on that rant and I wish all modders would die in a fire. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, seriously, I'm like, man, I got chills just thinking about what Rob just said. I'm like, bro, that's like, where he got it from. <laughs> no, I, I don't think I got it from that. It's just the ferocity with which you said that. I'm like, dude, that sounds like a man. Well, no, whenever I was referring to him, I wanted to be the one that started that fucking fire. Oh, my God. Okay, Rob, now, what, what good is it going to do to make him into a walking? Passion. Fashion? Passion. Oh, passion. Passion. I thought you said fashion. My bad. I'm sorry. It, it would. It, it would just. Oh, I would just. Dude, that guy is such a fucking dick. Oh my gosh. Rob. 
Uh, Rob, you got your pen around somewhere close by? <laughs> well, more my pop pen? <laughs> well, whatever you call it. <laughs> I don't know what you call it. I don't know if it's a vape pen, pop pen. I don't know what it's what, called. What? You lot? Yeah, I got it right here. <laughs> yeah, okay, good. You take you a puff. <laughs> Get a little rowdy. <laughs> no, dude, I, I fucking hate that guy. Oh, I can tell. I, he John, is fucking John, wordless. John, 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 John. Can you tell the hate is strong with this one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, this guy, this guy is fucking wordless. Is he though? Is he though? I mean, is he, he really if, though? If he did not sit there and have mommy to back him up, uh, he would not have a pot to piss in. Oh well. But don't forget that whenever mommy. Uh, left California and came to uh, Finley. I was the one that sat there and paid for her brand new house. Not him. Guess what? You oh, know yeah, where he's living? Right. Y'all literally, y'all did the exact opposite of Beverly Hillbillies. Y'all, y'all packed up the whole house and everything in Ohio. You you know you know where he's living right now? Uh, so, uh probably. I, I, I'm really just gonna spitball this. I really feel like he's living in a house that you paid for. At at mommy's house that I paid for. Like I just said, he's living in a house you paid for. So yeah, I have Not the. Even I have. When you know that house you guys had the the, the bunker house, man. That thing was, that was a sweet piece. Oh, the uh, one in Arlington? Yeah, yeah. That, that's the, the one I called the bunker. Yeah, you, I mean, you, you could sit walls, there and drive John, by. Were a solid foot thick, no lock. You could Damn. drive by and and you could hit it with a 50 cal and you ain't getting through that. Just don't hit a window. Hit the, you can hit the walls all day. I mean, literally, you can hit the walls all day long. It ain't gonna do a thing. The guy came in to do, uh, to put cable in. Not a like. And whenever he sat there and tried to drill through the side of the house, that was a joke. it straightened a bit. That a drill bit? Yes, it straightened I remember that. I was there bit. when that happened. That's why I said that. Oh my god. Yeah, for real. That house was not. That house was no joke. No I still own that house. You still own it? Yeah, it, it, she wanted. Uh, whenever, whenever we left, it was almost getting uh, foreclosed on. Oh wow! And because you know all the bullshit, and I sit there and, and I just sit there and paid the house off. And it's still sitting there. Who lives in the house? Nobody. Haven't you sold it? Uh, it's a, it's on the market. Oh, okay. But I also own, uh, you know, my girlfriend. Who, you know, was my girlfriend. You know, her mom and dad's house mm -hmm. in Gibsonburg. I own that house. And I also own the house that my mom and dad are living in, which is right beside my wife's mom and dad's house. Oh, so when you go visit your uh, in-laws, you get to see mom and dad too. Well, no, my my in-laws are are passed away. Oh, okay. But I own the house that they had, and my mom and dad now live right next door to their house. But my mom and dad's house, I own it too. I own four houses, right? You own too many houses. I own too many cars too. Of course you do. You just keep adding to the collection. I own too many bikes too. I have four bikes. <laughs> you still got the old crotch rocket you had back in the day? What, the little ninja? Yeah, sport, the no. sport bike. 
No, got rid of that. Oh, you got rid of that? Yeah, that, sure. that was the one that somebody tried to, uh, whenever I went to sell it, somebody tried to sit there and buy it and uh, trying to send me a, a check from Chuck Norris. <laughs> Yeah, that, that didn't fly. Like, like, that doesn't work for me, brother. They, they sent me, uh, they sent me a check from Chuck Norris, and I'm like, ah, oh, this is bullshit. Yeah, for And I'm like, you know, it didn't get, I didn't sell it then, but the, the guy came over, he was in Indiana, he came over and he bought it and picked it up. Now I have a I have a 1300 uh, Yamaha Venture uh, Royal uh, full dresser. Mm -hmm. I have a uh, 500 uh, Vulcan, and I now I have the uh, the new bike that I just got, which is a 2010 uh, Super Glide Harley. Right. The one I sit there and eh, just got trophies for. <laughs> my my youngest with with Carol, Christine. She's like, ah, well, there's a there's a car show up at uh, Oak Harbor. Are you coming up to it? I'm like, uh, well, I thought it was next weekend. And she's like, no, it's this weekend. No, so I sit there. That's why you thought it was next weekend. I went up there and I put my bike up against, uh, it was like six or seven, uh, full dressers. Yeah. And I sit there and I, I put mine in and I got first place with mine. The full dressers got fucked. <laughs> wow. Well, they were all stock paint jobs. Mine's not a stock paint job. They right. also didn't have, you know, they didn't have uh, LEDs on theirs. They didn't have as much chrome on theirs as I have. That part is I bought mine. Not bought, baby. Safe trucking driver. Actually, I should. I, I need to flip that. Yours was bought, not built. <laughs> theirs, theirs were just stock, and they just showed up. And I'm not even trying to hate on you. I mean, no offense. I'm picking at you by that whole bought, not built thing. But I know if you really wanted to, you could have built it. Oh yeah. Uh, it, what it I've is. I've known you long enough to know that. It, it's a blue. It's blue. But it's one of the it's a flip flop paint job. Yeah. So depending on how you look at it, it turns it's purple. It's either blue or purple. And even the pinstriping that's in the in the blue paint job. Mm -hmm. Whenever you look at it at a different angle, the pinstriping disappears in the paint job. Right. And then I have. Uh, the LEDs that I have on this uh, just lights the fucking bike up. Right. It's like an 18, 18 piece there LED. You, so there's like 18 different strips of LED underneath this bike. And the only ones you can see is the ones that are on the neck. Everything else is all hidden, and it just accents it it all the nice chrome. Glow underneath. Yeah, you, whenever it's whenever it's at night, there there is like a purple glow that covers uh, two lanes of traffic. Most of, most of the bikes I've ever had before, I've 
you know, paid fifteen hundred bucks for or whatever. This is a ten thousand dollar bike. Mm. There you go. Boom. You heard it. If you need ten thousand dollars, go see Anarchy. He got you. <laughs> go Anarchy. I need ten thousand dollars. You got me out. Not now. <laughs> And the old lady, she fucking loves the bike. Because it's a 96 inch, but it's been, uh, you know, rejugged. Yeah. And it's cammed. You, I read, I read the post. It is, it is technically a, uh, a 135. 135 inch. Mm -hmm. uh, the the my son-in-law has a uh, 2022 Street Glide, which is a 107. My bike Damn. is is faster and better. Well, of course it is. And way more comfortable. This is Street Glide. Mine's a Super Glide. It it's more of a uh, as well as you, street, street safe travel, uh, uh, safe convoy. The the street glides more of a. Passing a convoy up there, John Boy. A touring yep, no bull. bike. This is a touring bike. The anarchist, when are we gonna drag you back into the game? Uh, well, I'm looking. I'm looking at getting back into it. I have to sit there and get my steering wheel and everything uh, resituated. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I get that. My, my grandson broke my steering wheel. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. Oh, wow. Why did he do that for? Didn't have anything better to do. Safe travel? Safe convoy. Of course. Yeah, I passed like seven noble truck drivers. It was beautiful. You know who that is. Who? Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Of course I do. Exactly. Yeah. That. Like the third time I've seen her in the last couple of days. Wow. See my the my seat and everything no, I but, have. Well, uh, I had to pay attention to what you said after it, after I finally got where I wanted to be on the phone. Uh, I was sending an order to the and uh, yeah, I sent you a picture on your phone there, Bubba. I'm looking. Yeah. Travels there, boys. We're just getting a little crazy. Like crazy day. I have like five monitors, and my biggest, uh, the main part of mine is a 65 inch uh, widescreen. Hey, man, it's not a manhood measuring <laughs> contest, okay? <laughs> no, it looks like you're uh, you're sitting there, you get you're getting going. Go for it. Now, uh, the long monitor that's over my shoulder, I've got it uh, portrait oriented. That monitor came from my job. The head of IT goes, hey, you need a monitor? I was like, not really, but I'll find a use for it. He's like, all right, yours. I was like, sweet. <laughs> that works great. Looks good. Works great. It's actually, I've got it on an arm. You got a little cave that you're uh, living in? You what now? You got a little cave you're living in? A cave I'm living in? Yes. Or is that in your room? It's in my bedroom. Oh. Hey, the Wolverine. Safe travels. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. How 
How are you? I'm in the basement. Safe travels to you too. <laughs> Son of a buck. I don't even know how I feel about that. Man, that just... Did you get off track? Oh. I'm not gonna say I got off track. I I'm just gonna say trains don't go so well on the tracks. <laughs> <laughs> Never ever say that I didn't just I didn't just lay it over. I barrel rolled it all because I got distracted and sidetracked by a chick. <laughs> Ouch. The, the, the sad part is I didn't get distracted by a human. It was a human. I didn't get distracted by a picture or a physical body. I got distracted by a voice. <laughs> I heard a female's voice over the CB, and I went to reach up and reply. And when I went to reach up and reply, everything just went sideways oh like well oh well <laughs> well the the way they have the the news set up that uh you know the, the trucks you know lean yeah on the, i gotta admit you know, i'm not a fan the of the idea that the trucks lean well it, it's just here and it gets rid of the you know, the idiots like, and I would say me, that goes zero weight. If I go back to sitting here trying to drive the truck like, you know, normal, uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna flip it. Way more than you would. I've also got some pretty decent feedback in my wheel, too. I tried to scale it fairly close to what my feedback in my pickup is. That way, the feedback when I go through a turn, the wheel rotates back to center as it shoots. Well, like I, like I said, my grandson fucked up my wheel. Uh, the wheel I'm looking at getting is a fan attack. I already have, uh, you know, the fan attack pedals. Yeah. I just don't have the fan attack wheel. I don't know about that. I mean, I'm content with my G920. I mean, like I say, everything, he, I sent a picture of this whole setup to Tech after I did it. And he looked at me, he goes, man, you got too much time on your hands. And you spend way too much money. I was like, okay, first and foremost, every piece that you see, with the exception of the puck lights, those puck lights costed me 35 bucks, I think, at Home Depot. Because I got, it's a set of five. So I've got in it throughout the desk. I've got two on one side and two on the other side and then I've got one in the middle over the top monitor that I never use just because of the position. I just they link so that's how I did it. And um I sit there and uh I just went with it, you know. It was cool. It worked. And uh then when I got this third monitor it's like alright cool. Well the arm for the third monitor that it's sitting on the articulating arm that's been sitting in my toolbox because I had that where I used to live. Travels. I mean, that's not even a joke. Because I had a three monitor set up before. So every piece that's here, with the exception of the lights, it's all what I've already had.
in here recording like, you know, like we're streaming right now. We're kind of sort of live. We're live, I, bitch. We're A-live. I, I have my, uh, my three screen. One is a 65 inch monitor and then Shut I up. have, uh, their, uh, 40 inch, uh, monitors on the side. But do, you have any I these, have no, do you have any of these monitors oriented in portrait mode? Yes. You do? Okay. Yes. All right. At least you did it right. At least you did it right. But I, but right now I'm not even using them. I'm using right now. I'm sitting there with everything I'm doing is on a uh, 32 inch and a uh, 35 inch. So I have my screens that I'm talking, that I'm sitting there watching, you know, like YouTube shit. Yeah. And all my uh, Discord is over on the other screen. Right. Well, it's like right now, obviously. Not using any of the big screen. Well, obviously my right big now, monitor is what I'm looking at for the game. It's, it's directly in front of me. Uh, what I used to call my chat monitor is still where it it's always been at I just right now I'm using it since I'm not since I don't have a chat screen to look at I'm actually just using it to hold uh, my uh, my OBS and uh, so it's kind of there's like kind of glance up and preview things and see how the mics are and everything else and then my big screen is a fish tank right yeah of course all I see is a fish tank and then <laughs> to the right I've got that new monitor and it's, well, I say new, it's new to me. It's, but it's in portrait mode, and that's where Discord is. And it's actually something I wish I had done years ago. Or I wish I had put the other monitor that I had in portrait mode. Did it this way, but ever since I've seen all these other streaming setups for various things on YouTube, primarily Harris Heller is who I've seen him from. He's looked at a lot of streaming setups. Ever since Seriously? I saw it, I'm like, how the heck are they getting these monitors where they're like that? You know, those, that's pretty cool that it's, you know, it was a big overgrown tablet that's sitting there. And then I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I know how they did it. So, once I got the opportunity, I was like, oh yeah. And if I got me another one, yeah, buddy. You believe it? Oh, uh, it'll be there. I might get a chance to catch up, but I got kicked again. You gotta do the what? You got kicked again. You got kicked again? Don't get kicked. Be nice. We're rolling through New Mexico. Be nice to him. Internet got kicked. Oh, yeah. What's up with your internet tonight, dude? I don't, it's, it does every now and then. I don't know. I don't either. I think we got weather rolling in. Oh, y'all got weather rolling in? I think so. I'm not hearing you. I mean, I'm rolling off. Wi-Fi right now. I just haven't hooked it. Well, I had it wired in, and then something got screwed up with my Wi-Fi with the the uh, fleet, or the wireless. Rico just had surgery, so uh, first of the week I'm probably gonna go up and uh, go up, go up and talk to him. Lucky's on I'm right. I'm Lucky's right on now right at 89, now. so that'll let you know where I'm at. I'm in your gallop right now. Yeah. Rico had surgery. Yeah, he had, uh, uh, I can see how he'd get a hernia. I mean, picking up all your slack over the years will do that to you, man. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Ain't nobody ever had to pick up my slack. I know. I know nobody's ever had to pick up your slack. You're, you're literally that guy. You're the hardest working man. Look at that man. 
Not saying I'm the hardest working man in the room. You've always been a hard working man, though. But, you but know, you nobody's also ever, nobody's ever, ever get, smarter, not harder. Yeah, but nobody's ever going to talk me down. At that point, somebody's going to get hurt. I've been, I've been in, I've, in, in the last couple of years, I have been in front of the judge. Few oh times. man, really? Here we go. <laughs> You've been and, in front of a judge in the last couple of years? And it was... You, you need to behave yourself there, buddy. Yeah, I was not convicted. Put it that way. Well... Glad you weren't, because it'd be a little hard for you to keep your phone at your age. I mean, us, you know, it ain't like we talk every day, but at the same time, it would be kind of impossible to talk to you on the phone if you were incarcerated. And and most of it had to do with the, uh, you know, advanced. Yeah, I remember you telling me about that last time we talked that you don't do that anymore. Yeah, no. Uh, I do not work. I do not do anything at all. Uh, the last time I dealt with advanced, I sat there and the district manager, I put him uh, through uh, two aisles and the front window. I'm not saying he's got anger management issues. I'm just saying there's a high likelihood that he very well would have anger management. The district manager put his hands on a female that was at the store. Okay, I just gotta ask, was he related to said female? No. Okay. Did he put his hands on her in a... even remotely a good way? No. Okay. She was... she was... she had uh, anxiety issues. And we already knew that. Everybody knew that. Even corporate knew that. And she was having anxieties. And she went to walk out of the store. While he was reading her the fucking ride act. And she worked and, there? I'm like, yeah. And when she went. She tried to walk out of the store. And he grabbed a hold of her to keep her from walking out of the store. And I come unglued. Well, yeah, I mean, I can't see many people who would come unglued. And I'm like, you motherfucker, you want to put your hands on somebody? I'm right here. But I guarantee you, you uh, have two Rob's choices. like, I'm your huckleberry. You have two choices. You're either going to die, or uh, you better figure out what you're going to do for retirement. Because after I'm done with you, you are going to be fucked either way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, it just it's, needs to be said that... Um, he wasn't man enough to step to me. Anarchist may or may not. I do. I will kill somebody in a heartbeat. I said you I may or may not. I'm trying to give you an out. <laughs> don't even try to give me an out. I will kill somebody if they piss me off. Oh, God. <laughs> because I will not put up with people's bullshit. There is so much bullshit going on in this world. You want to be an asshole? Guess what? You're going to die. In a fire, right? Uh, no, I do it with my bare hands. Oh, okay. <laughs> always trying to, always trying to bring some levity to it. <laughs> Sorry, John knew what I meant. Mm -hmm. Yep, John knew what I meant. Yeah. Just as um, it's good people, but he also 
I've, I've, I've anarchist never is, had. Let's put it like this. Anarchist is the one friend that if I'm around him and everything's fixing to go sideways, not only will he take a bullet for me to keep me safe because, you know, he cares, but if anybody starts messing with me, he ain't afraid to catch a charge. <laughs> so, I don't give rats ass. Exactly. That's the thing. Anarchists don't care. He's, he is literally... There's a reason he has the no F's given thing on my Discord. We put that in place specifically for him. That's why he's I, got I, it. I, I don't care about people's feelings. Oh. If you don't like what I have to say, then, okay, then don't be my friend. I've never, had a, pro I've never had a problem with anything he's had to say. Ever. I'm just like, okay. Because I know how to just take the good Pretty and much it's... You don't care what. If you don't like what you have to say, you can kick rocks out of here. Exactly. Right? Exactly. That's the attitude he has. If you don't like what he's got to say, don't listen, and I don't care. Because, I mean, no offense, I don't. The nice thing about family is some family members you can choose, some family members you can. And I'm proud to say that I have two brothers that, you know, and they, you they, chose they, this they, one. They, 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 they were chosen by me. You chose this one. Well, no kidding. I did choose you. I don't know. I think we kind of chose oh, each other. We chose each other. I choose you. Yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, I think we kind of chose each other back in the day. I mean, we were playing tribes. I mean, because you couldn't have chose me because you took me under your wing and taught me how to turn. I didn't know how to do that. I remember all that fun we had. I miss those days. Yeah, I mean, I seriously miss the good old days of playing tribes and whatnot, having fun. Ooh, wow. No hands, Mom. Okay, this truck does not track as straight as my pickup. <laughs> I, thought I, could get, I thought I could let go for a minute. This truck's all like negative. You gotta hold the wheel, bro. Negative Ghost Rider. Exactly. No pattern. No. Negative Ghost Rider. The pattern is full. Oh, man. Nah, it's nice. I'm sitting at 96 mile an hour with the cruise on. I, I have, I have John's twice. Like, Where you at then? I don't know. That I have almost caught a case. What, huh? Yeah, I. There has been twice that I have almost caught a case. Oh my gosh. Okay, uh, we're going to hear on your left, driver. And, and, got, and got out of every one of them. Yeah. You're Major convoy. He's a different safe travel, Safe travels drivers, safe convoy. He's a different sort of breed. Well, my, uh, my brother's... Uh, you know, his uh, two of his kids died. Yeah. Oh wow! Here we go. We got a whole convoy. I almost, I almost right, killed the cop that sit there that tried to keep me you out of that, out of the apartment. There, I almost killed the cop. Is it Alpha Seven? Yeah, that's a that's a big ten four. You're yep. not too far behind. Yeah, yep. I'm not too far behind you. Caravan on your left. Don't tell me you damn near hit one of them. No, I I rub guardrail as I was going around a caravan. You're just now, I just you just bumped into my uh. Yeah, tapestry. I bleeped in when I was going past Alpha Seven. There you are. But that's only because you got a roll of seventy-five. <laughs> no, we actually need this almost three thousand mile load. If you if you go. Boss can be mad at you. Nah, I won't be mad. 
They're just he's trying to be in the top ten. He's trying to be a professional, and I ain't about that. Like I said, these people, and that's really the reason. That's one of the main reasons why I bail. Because honestly, it's not to be mean or ugly. It's just there's people that take it too serious, and I'm not trying to do that. I don't want to play they're, that they're, they're not really serious about it. It's, I think it's just like you know. When I try to when, want. When you're they when, want when you are trying to engage the people that are a part of your BPC, and anarchist can back me on this because he's been a part of BPC. But if you're if you're in the mood to promote people, I see you. No, I'm, waiting, I'm waiting. I'm waiting to see what you have to say. Sorry, see I was, I, I I was trying it. to get my cruise down to where he's at. No, but there's another truck right behind us. Yeah, I see that. He's hauling. No, it's a car. It's that caravan. I see. Because I do not like the fact that there is. Oh, we we want to have real miles, or we want to have race miles. Uh, I don't agree with that. Yeah, see, it, they, it's, it's whatever you want to do. It's whatever you want to do. This guy's wanting to do it in such a way to where he's he's wanting to do the real miles to basically try to make the company look good. Um, but that's all they're focusing on is the real miles, not the race miles. Real Miles ain't gonna sit there and promote, promote your company. Well, he don't. He don't care to promote the company. It's yeah. more like a goal. It's a goal to try to be like in the top ten or something like that. And, and see, for me, I'm one of those. I don't take it that serious. I've I've been I've, I've been in, in companies I've been that have been in, at the top. It doesn't matter. Yeah, <laughs> it, 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 it it is. It's fucking stupid. I mean, I can is, if you're sitting there and you're running the miles and you're putting into their trucks books. Oh, I forgot I got a clutch. Yeah, because we're going. Uh, or... it, sh it shouldn't matter. You're right. We're, we're running trucky. Yeah, see, they're, they're running. Well, trucky, they're, whatever. Yeah, they're running doesn't, trucky. I've never heard of trucky matter. until this crowd. No, I have Trucky. I've never heard of it until this crowd, though. That's the whole point. But it, it's the fact is, you're playing a game. You're trying to enjoy what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Now, if, by being part of that trucking company, they're trying to tell you what you're going to do, and how you're going to do it, then that's not a trucking company you need to be a part of. No. He's not, he's he not that, he is definitely not that controlled. He's really not. It's just... No. You, need, you need to sit there, have fun on what you're doing. And that's why I do what I do. All, all we do is just shoot the shit while driving. That's it. Yep, that's it. That's basically, that's all we do. We just try, we just try to, you know, be up we just try to be up there i mean it's not like it's gonna happen yeah. but it's just like a goal why we're having fun you know i i still i'm, I'm part of uh you know rolling high mm -hmm. with lucky mm -hmm. but i will not sit there and tell you uh well if you're not happy there i'm not telling you come over and deal with us. Yeah. We're just laid back. You do whatever you fucking want to. I mean, he doesn't. And the other thing is, he doesn't care about my. It's like what we did. We really care about when we had our truck company. Do we really care if you got five thousand miles? No. No. We don't. I mean, he don't I care. Put it, I put the five thousand in as a goal because I knew it could be done. I mean, it's a game. I knew it could be done. That's the only reason I put the five thousand in. Months went by that I missed out on because I just I missed. Play. That's the same here. Exactly. So I mean, you know, I'm never. What? I don't. 
I just don't take it that serious. You know what I'm saying? Like as far you, as you play the game to where you're happy. If no, I don't play what, the game whoever, where I'm happy because I can't pull into a truck stop and go get the food. Well, hey, I'm I'm, gonna a closet, go that I'm way. a closet fat boy, bro. I got to get some. Food. It, yeah, well, if you're going to go that way, I can't sit there and pull into a truck stop and sit there and get ahead. You can get that while driving down the road, bro. Have you met my wife? <laughs> it ain't going to happen. Son of a... Mm. I can't even get that in the bedroom. <laughs> go straight home. I don't even go there. Muck or truther. <laughs> <laughs> This conversation just took a walk on the wild side. Yeah, it, 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 he's not. Er, the, uh, I hope you're not streaming. No, I'm not streaming. <laughs> I'm recording, but definitely not streaming. Yeah, well, you yeah. Want, might want to mute that one. No, I'm not. I'm going to let it all roll. Screw that. He don't care. I mean, let's, we all just crap. And... I'm at the point where that's I, why just, I don't direct. care. Honestly, I'm only... Well, see, that's why I do not sit there and I do not run on Twitch. I run on Kick. See, you know what? And that's another thing, too. Everybody and their mama want to be a streamer now on Kick. It's like, no, I'm not even bothering with that. You know what? You know where this video is going when I finish? YouTube. Going to YouTube. When this video finishes, I'll, 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 I'll edit it to take out any slack parts. Like, there was a spot in the beginning of it where I was monkeying with some things. I'll probably edit that out, but other than that, I'll slap an intro to it. I might well, slap an outro you know, the on point it. where where nobody was talking, and then, you, you know, just... No, I'm going to let the whole video, because, yeah, I mean, the very beginning where John was trying to get situated in-game, I was getting situated. John and I were talking about something. And I think, you know, there was a time where I got up and walked away and went got some water and so you know I'll probably all clip, went I'll probably south all that mess out and then you know once i come back from getting my water and from that point until we're done with this trip that's it i'm just gonna put a trip and i'll probably and it all and just went trap south it. whenever i sat there and joined mm, I, I knew it was gonna get fun <laughs> Ooh, i gotta get fuel at some point yeah same here <laughs> But no, I, I, I won't worry about it. Like I said, and honestly, I'm going to start doing this kind of stuff where <clears throat> tonight it's ATS, tomorrow it may be GTA. You know, I may do that just for something to do and to put a video up on YouTube. To let the, 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 the tens of listeners and viewers know that I haven't forgotten how to do it. Plus, it'll give me a chance to see how my settings are because I don't know how everything's going to sound audio-wise. I really don't. But it, it's a good thing you're not watching uh, uh, Stone Bed. Uh, you know, at the XRP. Uh-huh. Because fat bitch just sit there and ran down the thing chasing a bug. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I was like, what the... Hell. I have no idea what you're talking about, but okay. I'm going to pretend. Uh, it, it, it is bug fest. Bug fest? Yeah, there oh, is so. uh, XRP down bug. in Texas. And it is bug Volkswagen fest. bugs. Oh, oh, okay. Rad racing. Oh, oh, I'm glad you no. said Volkswagen <laughs> because I was fixing to say, bro, we got women on YouTube or Kick or Twitch or whatever they're doing on chasing cockroaches is this what we're about now no nah, i swear no, to god i thought that's what you were talking about like they were chasing no. actual bugs like like the creepy crawly critters i was being to say dude okay well all right right they, on they are they are down there and uh, <laughs> uh i deal with uh uh stone vet which is uh, you know one of the the, the twitch streamers but we also have uh, Murda, 
which he streams like from like the hood uh the hood track down in texas did you just say the hood track yeah it's, okay it's, I, I was just making sure i heard that like, whole bunch, uh, I, i'm gonna have to start asking you if, if i have a question i'm just gonna have to start asking because to be perfectly just, honest when you said what well, we'll would just say hold on bullshit cars yeah and bullshit trucks oh, okay that just go down there and wow. it's 15 bucks you show up and you rate and this is where you saw the video of the woman chasing the bug no that's it this is at xrp oh. right now oh, okay. extreme racing uh racing park uh -huh. which is in texas as well this is a different streamer and the bug sat there and took off and and had to pull over the side and then it's facing it. It's like, oh God, that's funny. <laughs> I mean, that, 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 I mean, no offense, honestly, it, when, when you said that this woman went off chasing the bug and it, the first thought that came to my head was, I, honestly, I don't even know why I thought it would be a woman chasing an actual critter, but no. I, I just, and that's where my head went. It's like, oh yeah, it's a woman chasing a bug. I'm like, why? I wa I watch it because I I mean whenever it's it, you know when they're dealing with the bugs and stuff like that out in California I had you know the bug that I built uh -huh. and which is basically a, a bug uh, sit on top of a Porsche chassis. I just want to see if I remember. No, apparently not. Oh wow, that happened. I don't know why. Slow down. Cause I know I ain't gonna make this damn turn. Really? My yeah. bug, my oh, bug oh. passed because it, it was all wheel drive. Oh, oh. oh yeah, we're we're in Cali right now. Here in Duluth, Arizona. You do. You don't remember how bad I got hurt out in Cali, do you? Well, you I wrecked. Mean, I mean, when I when I put my my car over a cliff. No, I don't. How bad you got hurt? <sighs> Are you still on that perk? Got Bye. Bye. That's why I sit there and end up back in Ohio. Hey. It fucked me up. I don't remember what the hotkey for that was. I had a hotkey for that. I just don't remember what it was. I'm gonna go to this gas station here in Barstow. Okay, that's fine. I think I'm in Barstow too. there buddy have a nice night you too buddy you too.
turn. Fairly decent little trip, hadn't it, there, buddy? Mm -hmm. Still got fourteen hundred miles to go. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Still a little bit um. It was a little bit more surprising having Anarchy show up. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's not even a joke. I was like, what? Okay. Lady Bear Truck. Lady Bear, what's up? Hmm. Okay, so here's the deal. I gotta go pee. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, fine. I'm not gonna argue about it. All right, cool. You ready, buddy? Hey, John. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. All right. I forgot I had my mic muted. That's okay. Next thing I do, I want to get a different, uh, I want to get a different shifter. You do? Mm-hmm. Why is that? Uh, one that has a split and range on it. Oh, good luck with that. Jeremy's got one that I was looking at maybe getting eventually. Right.
He got it off of Amazon. Alpha's back. You, I'll seek that. Why, hello there, Miss Alexis. Shorty hauling. See that? Mm-hmm. Oh, shorty trailer. XG, yes. All right, the old, the lady wants to talk to you. The lady. Yeah. You're a lady. Mm-hmm. Yeah, put her on the phone. There you go. Copy well, we she go here. Okay. Hey, how you doing? I'm good. Are you chill with our conversation going on YouTube, or would you prefer it not? I don't know what you guys are even talking about. No, I'm talking about you. Me and you. What about it? Are you cool with the, the being on YouTube or not? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So how have you YouTube, been? Right. I've been doing good. Doing really good. Did John by chance tell you that we're going to be grandparents here in a couple of days? He did. He actually did the yep. right thing as a, as a man should do. Uh-huh. bragging about it. Mm-hmm. Yep, a little girl. Yep. Time to start spoiling. Already started. <laughs> we started a long time ago. Of course you did. Of course you did. You're like, hey, we gotta start buying things. <laughs> oh yeah, we have been over the last several months. So I hear you're not working at Walmart anymore. No ma'am, I am not. I work for a long time. Yeah, that's what John was saying. I'm like, oh, are you a paralegal or? No, I work in the distribution department. Oh, okay. Basically, it's like mailroom type stuff. Mm. I'm whatever my supervisor needs me to be. Gotcha. And that's, I enjoy that kind of stuff. It's fun for me. But well, that's same, cool. At the same time, I am looking at taking on a part-time job, which could lead me back to Walmart. So, you know, fingers crossed. Gotcha. Right? Well, no, no kid. Well, again, that's the thing. No, no wife, no girlfriend, no kids. I'm, I'm out of work. Oh, yeah, there, there you go. Exactly. And that's kind there of what you I'm, go. I'm looking to do is work and make. I, I don't want to sound like I'm money driven, but right uh -huh. now I'm getting out of debt driven. So it's like that. That's my drive is to make money. And if right. I make money, then that's what I want to do. Hey, nothing wrong with that. No, I mean, get yourself problem. out of get yourself out of debt before you get a family. Uh, get myself out of debt before I go trying to get myself in more debt. How about that? <laughs> that is true. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, you gotta find a girl first. That's the problem. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. And, that is true. And, and I have been told. I need to not be as picky. 
Yes. And Don't like, be picky. And I'm like, why? I, I deserve to be picky. Yeah. I mean, you know, and I'm, here's kind of my thing. You know, I'm not, I will never bash people for what they do, right? You know? Yeah. It, yeah. It's like, if you smoke weed, cool, you do you. I'm not gonna, I'm not yeah. gonna hate on you for that. I personally don't want to date someone who smokes weed. Yeah, I don't blame you. I mean, that's just me. I don't smoke weed, but I don't want to date yeah. someone who smokes weed. Now, yeah. if me being a smoker, if she, you know, wants me to try to quit, I'm down with that. Let's bring it right. on. You right. Know, let's do this. I'll try to quit for her. Right. If she's a smoker and whatnot, you know? Yeah. Oh, I get it. Yeah, I get it. I mean, have a drink every now and then? That's cool. I'm fine with that. If you drink to get stone cold drunk, <laughs> we might have to have a conversation. Right. I mean, it's, and it's more for me than anything else because I'll drink socially. Yeah. But I don't drink every day. Right. Yeah. I, mean, I understand. It's, it's not to be rude or ugly or anything like that, but that's just being honest. Right. I mean, you know, it is what it is. And plus, the, the biggest thing I have found is, and this is going to be my challenge, right? And, and I don't know from a woman's perspective, you might get it. Never mind. Yeah. So, <clears throat> right. I'm a big kid. Yeah, so is John. I'm 41 years old. south of 41 <laughs> yeah by five years or so so 46 all the way down to say 36 you know I, i'm looking yeah. at that age range <clears throat> i don't know yeah. anyone that's yeah in that age bracket that's cool with me yeah. being you know a big kid right oh yeah and, and that's that's the hard part because i am i how to be serious. I know how to carry on those mature conversations, you know. I know right. I pay my bills and everything like that. I am responsible in that area. Right. But as far as, like, if I'm sitting at home and I'm Keep dating right. someone, and then exit right. yeah. I'm, I'm that guy that is gonna say, hey, let's go bowling. Right. right. Or, hey, let's go, let's go to movies. Right. You know, I'm that guy. I'm the guy that likes to go do fun stuff. No, no. Right. Hear that every so often now because I goof. Whatever. Ah. No, I goofed up on my GPS track because I planted my marker in the wrong spot. So now I'm ah. to, uh, now I'm gonna have to hear recalculate. Yeah, John always plants his stuff in the wrong spot, too. It's oh, all good. No. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, he's just talking about you planting your stuff in the wrong spot or something on him. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Um. Well, this conversation is... Yeah, it went the opposite direction, didn't it? <laughs> the one thing you gotta understand, you just never know what's gonna come out of my mouth. Or, in my mouth. Oh, but yeah. good god, <laughs> um... I am trying... I'm trying here, folks. Wow. Yep. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, see, when you work around, you're like pretty much the only female around, like nine, ten, eleven guys. <laughs> you have to have a different frame of mind. Oh well, yeah, I get that. So, yeah. Ooh, um, yeah, that's. Alrighty <laughs> then. Um, yeah. This has been, been a great trip. I know, right? Plenty of crashes, plenty of good conversation to be had. Yeah, this is not bad.
don't know. Yeah. Yeah, John will crash into me later. He's sitting there and his computer chair put his hand in his head. He's like, wow. <laughs> I, and I'm just sitting over here holding the wheel and just shaking my head like, wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. I I get pretty bad. Oh, well. I, I can imagine so. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Don, I feel like she needs a spanking. No, no, no. She might like that. Don't do that. Hey, honey. He said that you need to spank him. He feels the need for it. <laughs> I did not say that. Not at well, you all. had the word, you had the word spanking in there. No, I said I feel like she needs a spanking. Oh. No, 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 oh. no, no. Oh, no. hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me tell him. Oh. Hey, honey. He said he feels like he needs a spanking. <laughs> Do what? Yeah, he said he feels like he needs a spanking. Oh my god, that is not what was said. You know I'm gonna tell him what I said. Oh, I know. Okay. I know. Okay, I'm just making, <laughs> making sure you know that, that, that I'm gonna tell him what I said. Yeah, I'll just get in trouble later for it. Oh my god. Uh -huh. You are a bad girl. You have no idea. Hey, honey, you said you're a bad boy and you need a spanking. Son of a fuck. Alright. Huh? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> uh huh. Uh, Alright, honey, well, I'm gonna let you go. It was good talking to you again. It was good talking to you, too, dear. <laughs> you, too. Here's John. Alright. Alright. Wow. Go oh, why? Uh, yeah. No duh. <laughs> I, I mean, no kidding whatsoever. <laughs> oh my god. You got him speechless. Huh? He, uh, you know, I was telling her that she, she has you speechless. Yeah, you think? <laughs> Jeez. Like, um. Uh, I mean, I, I, genu I genuinely want to say, where can I buy one? <laughs> I mean, genuinely, I want to ask that question. Where can I buy one? He's got a question. Where can you buy one? Never mind. That went right. <laughs> yeah. It went over her head. Yeah. She's like, she can put me up for sale. <laughs> no. Shoot, that went over her head. It, yeah, it did. It did. It did. I, I just good grief. Yeah. Mm, mail order bride? Oh, no, I don't <laughs> even know that. I, honestly, man, I'm telling you, she is. She's party. No. She's like full on party. She's not no party. Okay, let, let, let me. From my point of view on the situation. I don't have people around me on a regular basis that talk to me the way she did. Gee, that's every day. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. She's party. And that's, yeah, okay, right on. Well, um, no, anyhow, I was saying that I made this statement to her that she needs a spanking. Oh, oh. Yes. She needs a spanking. And then I said, no, 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 no. She'd probably enjoy that. No. Yeah. Um, yeah. She she likes to twist your words. Yeah, she did. She twisted my words. <laughs> she does it all the time. I know she does. I can, I, I can honestly tell that she does that a lot. And that, that was not her first rodeo with that. <laughs> Most definitely. Says she's hard to handle. I need to get her into gaming. <laughs> oh, we just need to get her a disc. 
we need to get her into this. That's all we need. That's oh. easy. Yeah, exactly. That's very easy. You're gonna set it up on her laptop. Oh, you don't even gotta do that. She can put it on her phone. Nah, she won't put it on her phone. She won't. Too much data. She won't put it on her phone. Too much data. Too much data? Mm -hmm. She has a prepaid phone. Oh, yeah. Shit, hard left, hard left. Are we hard left and really? Yeah. Alright. What? No, she don't. Only because you said something. I swear if you dump it, I'm gonna laugh at you. I did not dump it. Hard right. But I did right. Get ready. <laughs> nice. Good. This gives me a chance to do. I gotta pull up here so I can take out one of the dogs. Oh, okay. Three. Well, one of them. I might as well just take them all out. Yeah. <clears throat> all right, cool. You're going to do that? I'm going to grab a smoke. So Kind of like a winner winner chicken dinner? Yep. This is one of them I need a break between. We're about halfway there. We're a little over halfway. Yeah, we just, we're in the, we really just got on the five goods, so yeah. All right. I'm out. All right. I'm going to go do my thing. Smoking smoke. Yes, I'm going to go smoke, because you got to take the dogs out. Oh, I want to take some. Huh? Yeah. They don't take long. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna grab a smoke. It shouldn't take too long. Alright, what's taking away in there? I'll grab it. Alrighty.
we back. I'm back for now. So I have to let them in. Alright. Or I make her do it. You know why my horn sounds different? Because. Different truck? No, it would sound the same as yours if I was running the stock T680. The T680 I'm running has an engine that you can only get through Steam Workshop or through, um, say that. I have it. It's a 625. Oh, you got the 625 in yours? Not in this one. Slowly. Oh, you're good. No, I'm actually, it's not bad. It's really the camera quality. It's what it's supposed to be. And everything else. So, I mean, this is the first load this PC's had on it since I moved. Yeah? Yeah. Like this. I mean, the only additional thing I'm not doing is rendering and broadcasting out. Mm -hmm. But I mean, shoot, that's nothing but just that's nothing but just going live. I can go live straight to YouTube right from this. So. Right. But I'm actually just recording a hard video, so that way I can <clears throat> go in and. Trim out certain areas that need to be trimmed out. I'm honestly going to look at for ATS specifically. Bob Kelly and start searching out some of these roads I haven't done. Right. Just the small roads. Yeah. Get you a shorty wagon. Yeah. You get, yeah. You, sh get you a shorty wagon, that'll do. How fast are you going? 77, 76. Kind of kicking it up a little bit. Oh, you're good. You're good. I just I know you got to watch your speed. That's why I was just asking how fast you're going. Cause I'm gaining on you, but I'm also doing 90 mile an hour to do it. I'll tell you what, man. The California revamp is looking nice.
has been a minute since I've done anything like this. It really has. <clears throat> Just been trucking with them and doing a little bit on my own and playing well, I GTA. Was, I was in reference to actually recording gameplay. Yeah. Because I'm thinking, and, and this is just me spitball, and I'm thinking. Excuse me. I'm not going to go with like a set schedule. Because mm -hmm. the instant I do a set schedule, then something's going to just crash all the way through that deal like man blast the wall. Yeah. So, you know, but, like, I'm gonna try to carve out time where I do, like, tonight do an ATS, I might do, you know, some PTA tomorrow, what have you. And then, there's always, I've always got Red Dead Redemption 2, and since I know I can actually, Have that. I can play it as far as, because the only thing I would do for that is just story. That's literally all I would do. Um, but I may end up doing the story mode, Red Dead Redemption 2, just to sit down and play through it. Because I know during the week, you're, there's times you're on, there's times you're not. Yeah. It just depends on life, you know, and I get that 100%. Um, so I may end up doing Or when I have to disappear. What? Or when I have to disappear. Yeah, exactly. Um, but I may end up doing some Red Dead, playing through the story, starting from scratch and play from the very beginning. Because I got to a certain point, but I think it was the stream quality. The stream quality was trash on that game specifically. So I'm thinking, as long as I'm not encoding and sending it out, I think I should be fine. But, um, something else I'm thinking of doing too is, uh, online content mm -hmm. and uh, basically going through and starting from ground zero. Oh, you just you just dropped. No, I'm still here. No, you didn't. You're gone. You're, you did. you're gone. Now I'm gone. I was going to say, either your truck just went into warp speed or you just got kicked. Alright, I'm sitting at 912 miles. 911. I'll be right back. Yeah, it's probably not a good idea to smack the parking brake like that. I don't know what's up with this tonight. This is weird. I got a good connection. Yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> it's super weird. Well, the same as we can't. He runs the same internet I have. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, yesterday, if he was he got kicked. And then I'd get kicked. Right. So I think that's what I'm going to do with our internet. Yeah, but the thing is, you're not dropping off Discord, which is really surprising. Well, it's like my connection sucks for the game. Yeah. But I'm looking here right at my thing. It says your connection is good. I've got three bars at 5G. 5G? Mm hmm Man. Lucky you. You got some 5G. Well, I don't, I've never had five bars, but it says 5G. Yeah, I don't have 5G. I don't think it's running 5G. I think that's... I think it's only running LTE. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like my, my my phone does the same thing. Sometimes, like I'll make a phone call, it says 5G, and it'll drop down to four. Because my phone is 5G as well. Right. Be back. One thing I like about Chucky, though. Is like it has, yeah. Oh you, wow! I just got kicked. The thing I like about Trucky, it's got it's, it's got a desktop helper. Yeah. And it actually shows 
live menu, a live, the live map. Like, I can tell where you're sitting, and I wasn't even in the game. Yeah. You just now disappeared. Yeah. From where you were sitting. Yeah, because uh, I just got kicked. I was bragging about it, too. I was like, yay! Kick! Oh. See, this is one of those times where if I was actually streaming, I would just end the stream. But, you know, not streaming songs. While I'm here. Yeah, I don't even know. Oh, I did wake up at like ready to roll. that I 
I'm reloading. Yeah, I mean that makes it nice. You get when you have, if you have to reload. Yeah, I can go in and trim you just that. Just edit that out. Yeah, I can go in and trim that little bit of fat out. And be done with it. For the time where I was sitting there, stopped off and went for a smoke break. Yeah. Seventy-one miles to go. Yeah, well, my yeah, yeah, she was uh, she was excited to, when I told her I was playing a game with you. She was excited. She was really? She'd come over and talk at some point. She was excited that she told her that you were playing a game with me. Yeah. Wow. yeah she likes talking to you. I won't tell her that. I mean, I genuinely forgot her name. I don't know why. Call her the old lady. Oh. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Dang it, too. Okay. I mean, I should know her name. Tamara. I'm gonna slow down with these curves because I don't make these curves at fast speeds. Oh. You ever notice I've actually kept up too? Yeah, well, it's also because I put you in the front. Oh, I still catch up. No, oh, it wasn't one. No, 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 I put you in the front for a reason. The reason I put you in the front is because you are restricted by the speed that you can run. I am not. If I was in the lead, you would never catch me. Well, if I was doing race, or real miles, but if I was doing race miles, I would. No, wait, you, you were doing race miles. You, you, you might catch me. Oh, I'd catch you. I don't know. I was keeping up with you the last time when we weren't doing all that. It's different now that I'm actually running manual instead of keyboard. Yeah. And doing the whole wheel and pedals thing is a lot easier, isn't it? Mm hmm Well considering I also have it down now because I drive manual every day yeah. for work. Yeah. Except for my truck at work doesn't have a second gear. <laughs> yeah. I literally have to jump from first to third. I had to do a driving test with a certified state uh, driving instructor, right? Mm -hmm. The weirdest thing I've ever had happen. This guy, my, I, he had to have me drive for him to make sure that I was okay to drive, right? Mm -hmm. Before I got my license. Had this guy show up to the house. He showed up. I got in. I got everything set. I reached up, grabbed hold of the wheel, and I felt something that felt oddly familiar on the wheel and I was beyond perplexed and I had to ask my man had paddle shifter <laughs> on the wheel I was like paddle shifters he's like yep I was like well alright he's like it's gas he goes it's gas and brake it's not because the car was on he's like yeah it's just gas and brake of, you know, people paralyzed when they can drive too. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Except for you used to shifting. 
Yeah, exactly. I'm used to using my paddles for just kicking between high and low range. <clears throat> and the uh, flip between the upper and lower. Range. I'm already locked in at 76. <laughs> you are really trying to test this whole deal of how good control is. I, I'm going to go ahead and tell it like it is. I'm driving fairly decent tonight. I'm very proud of myself. But my foot is not positioned in the same position it would be if I was riding through in my pickup. <laughs> I'm in my pickup, if I'm going down the uh, interstate or whatever, or I'm going down a stretch of road that I know, and uh -huh. I'm, I'm not going to be doing a lot of stopping or whatever, or speeding up, slowing down, speeding up, slowing down, usually I've got the cruise set at, you know, five over, whatever the speed limit is, so five, I'm running six, okay? Right. And then I'll take, and I'll hover my foot over that brake pedal. And I'll just let it rest there. To where it just, my foot can rest right on the brake pedal. Where I don't have to worry about it. And then if I need to stop, there it is. You know, boom, I just tap the brakes. We're good. I can't say anything because my feet are nowhere never near the pedals when I'm on cruise. I, I have, it's, it's not a control thing. It's more of a, uh, I want my reaction time to be as a matter of fact, I drive a company car for work, and when I'm going places in the company car, I know where the cruise button's at. And I will set cruise. The only time I won't set cruise is if I'm in traffic. No. If, I'm, if yeah. I'm able to get up to speed and get where I want to be as far as speed, and even in that, I do not set the speed limit. I don't go, like if the speed limit's 45, I go as close to 45 as I can. And then I'll lock the cruise. Right. That's understandable. You know, that's not my car, so I take care of it. My steering wheel ain't right. Something ain't right with it. Are you sure it's not the operator? No, it's a setting. Like, when I'm driving like this, my steering wheel's back, doing back and forth by itself. I'm not hitting anything, so you I don't know what turn, to do. You probably need to turn the wheel sensitivity up. I mean, that wouldn't be a bad thing. Turn the wheel sensitivity up. The thing is, I don't know. I haven't messed with it. That's the problem. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You might need to turn the wheel sensitivity up for your force feedback. Well, I I, I know that's not has, running. Mine has force feedback turned. Well, the program on mine is not running in my background, so that's probably one of my reasons. Because I have a program settings. That's probably why it's not. Uh, I'm actually surprised that your Logitech G Hub does not come up in startup. It don't. That's very surprising, considering mine does. But that's because I've got the Logitech cameras, I've got the steering wheel and pedals. You know, it's all. Sometimes it does, sometimes it don't. It's all encompassed in one app and one application, so, you know, I just, I let it come on. Matter of fact, all my radio stuff comes up and start as well. Those are two programs that I've started to automatically. You know, like Discord, would you like Discord to start automatically when your computer starts? No. Not Mine a, does. I don't need Discord. times that I need to be on the computer and I'm working and I'm doing stuff on the computer, you know, like when I was doing resumes and everything and applications, I don't need that distraction. 
distraction. I don't need the Discord distraction. You need what now? <laughs> My base coil part. I gotta replace the coil in my vape. Oh no. I ain't worried about it. He's like, yeah, I gotta replace the coil in my vape, yeah. I forgot how good Campbell smell. I stopped vaping for quite some time and. What I got are you to chewing. Mar Marlboro Man? No. Captain Crunch. Captain Crunch? Yep, peanut butter Captain Crunch. Wow. Real. We're using Captain Crunch as a way to not smoke? No, I chew. They still do. They still have it? Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm surprised they haven't outlawed that. Right? You know it's why? just like now they I got mean, puppy you know, ground. You, you know why, right? You, yeah. You, you remember the uh, candy cigarettes? Mm-hmm. Yo. Those are still around, too. They're still around? You don't see them as often, but yeah, they're still around. Oh, wow. It must be a Midwest thing. Well, that we have a... Uh, Little candy shop in the mall that has all the old time candies. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, candy cigarettes. Oh, man, that'd be awesome. They got, uh. Golly, don't let me get a box of candy cigarettes. No, I'm dead serious. I'll probably end up getting fired. I'll end up walking around the firm with a candy cigarettes thing. Ew. Just like they have the, uh. Like, what are you doing? Jer candy. Just like they have jerky chew. Oh, man, I remember Jerky Chew. Jerky Chew was so good. You still have it. Oh, we do. God. That, I don't even know where I'd find it. Man, I remember jer Jerky Chew. Bomb talk. Yeah. Like the best. Because, like, and, and then you reach that point where you can't, you, you can't pinch it no more because there's not enough really there to pinch. Mm -hmm. And you just take the whole container and just dump it in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. That was weird. I bet it wasn't healthy at all. But I... I like the teriyaki kind, but you can't ever find that anymore. I'll tell you what, though. The Jack Link's uh, Fender Bites? Mm -hmm. That's not bad. No, those are actually pretty good. Those are actually pretty good. The Fender Bites are really good. And it's I like the... Uh, Problem with teeth, so you would think, well, why don't you just do no beef jerky? I'm sorry, no offense, all beef jerky is better than Jack Link. You're 100% correct. I, I'm sorry, no offense, but those, been, those tender bites work. I've been craving fucking actual real jerky. I just, I don't get to go hunting, so. Yeah, well, honestly, if you knew a, a meat guy, you could do it some straight up beef jerky. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I'm good to hydrate yeah, yeah. Get you, get you some really thin sliced meat and just slap her in there and let her eat. The other thing I've tried here lately is freeze dried candy. Freeze dried candy. Mm -hmm. Like Skittles, uh, Airheads. I'm sorry, man. That's about like the people at the county fair here in the south that sit there and say fried Oreos. Those are fucking delicious. I can't, I, I can't wrap my brain around it. I'm still, honestly, I'm still pissed off with Bojack. Um, it's like, I'm still kind of pissed about that because I really and truly do like, I like Bojangles chicken back in the day. Like, I remember, and I don't know if you've ever had Bojangles. I have not, but we have one in a, like, where I'm working at now. I mm -hmm. pass a truck stop, and that's the first time I've ever seen Bojangles. Ew. I've actually been wanting to stop. 
stop in there and get it. So you'll actually enjoy it, but I highly encourage you to get their chicken tenders. Mm. And the reason I say that is because sometimes, I'm not saying all the time, especially in this restaurant, but sometimes the chicken can be either, it's either right or it's overdone, which one? And so the other place... And I will say that the chicken tenders are pretty much, it, it's almost impossible. The other place I like for chicken tenders is, uh, what the hell is that place? It's, uh, Long John Silver's. Really? You get all the crunchy. I know, I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of the Super Crunch. I don't know, I, I would have said well, KFC, yeah. but... No. They've yeah. gone downhill too. Well, Long John Silver's are so you get your chicken, which is it's really not that crunchy. Right. The only thing is, like when you get your plate, you get like the the batter that falls off. Mm -hmm. Like that makes a little like you call them crunchy. Yeah. Those are really good. Yeah, see, I, I like Bojangles. I mean, because there are some times where the Chicken is just their their chicken tenders are just their all the I mean perfect the best of the Bojangles the other back in the day, Bojangles actually before they came out with their their non spicy recipe and their spicy recipe. Well before they came out with all that, Bojangles they only had one layer, they only had one level of chicken that was spicy, you know, it was Cajun type of chicken, right? So, anyhow, back in the day, their spicy chicken, if you peeled the skin back off of, you know, a leg or a thigh or a breast or something, if you peeled the skin back, you would see this red, almost like a Texas blue type of thing. I mean, and it was, that was like the, the hot. It's there. You know, it's like, woo, all right. I mean, my mom, she cooked some in the uh, crock pot today. And I want to say it was a pork roast, but I want to say it was. I'm not sure. But anyhow, she was fixing to throw it out. Because my dad tried it and it had too much stimpity and it's too dark for him. My dad doesn't do a lot of spice. He's, you know, you cook a steak on, you cooking a steak, throw some salt, throw some pepper, bingo, bingo, pop your That's all he wants. You know, he's very, as far as his choices, they're, they're very, you don't need to spice it up a whole lot. Not about that life. And I'm saying spice is. Well, let's put it like this. Keep right. And then turn right. My mom knows that I'll, she knows, I'll go, I'll try anything once, twice if I like it. And she asked me, she goes, hey, this is spicy. And I'm like, okay. She goes, would you eat it? And I'm like, I don't know. I, I do spicy stuff sometimes. I see how spicy this really is. So she sits there, not even lying to you, John. Sister, and she takes, cuts me off with a piece of this uh, pork roast, mm -hmm. and he goes, "Here, try this." And I took the piece and stuck it in my mouth. I'm like, That's not bad at all. That's pretty good. He goes, "You gonna eat it?" I said, "Yeah, put it in a bowl, put it in a plate, whatever. I'll eat it." He goes, "Are you sure?" And I said, "Hmm." And then, it's, and then I got concerned. And then I got concerned after she put it. I got very concerned. I was like, oh, crap. Um, she goes, yeah, I just want you to know, um, I hope you don't get sick. And I'm like, I say, what? Why? What? What? Is, is it bad? I mean, is it, is it super out of date? I mean, what are we talking? She goes, no, no, I don't mean like that. I mean, just all the spicy. I'm like, man, this ain't nothing. I'll be alright. <laughs> sure enough, I'm fine. 
That was good. I mean, like I said, it was not bad at all. So she put this in a in a plate bowl thing. Yeah. I slapped it in the microwave for a couple minutes. Because it, it had already been cooked in a crock pot. It's just, it just it had gotten to room 10. Mm -hmm. So I threw it in the microwave for a couple minutes. Pulled it out. Went and sat down. Started watching TV with my dad. I'm sitting there and I'm eating this deal. Just... Nom, 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 nom. I mean, I hit a couple of spots in the spice, because it did have a couple of spices in it, but I hit a couple of spicy spots where it was like it had some zippity in its doodah, and I was okay with that. If it would have been any more spicy, I would have had wires. But it was not <laughs> bad. It, was very this good. Is it tasted great. very good. She goes, I, do you have anything else to go with us? What? Meats? Need other things to go with me, not just me. He's well, like, bridge, do not change on me. Huh? This bridge, I hope it doesn't change. This one doesn't change. Shit! Oh, yes it does. Yes it does. Yes it does. Thing, I found it. Instant 12% damage. I don't even have anything here now. I'm not even in 18 gear. I don't have 18 gear. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. I don't even have. I, I'm not even in 18. I'm in. Oh, I'm in 16. I took so much damage on that, I lost a year. about it.
seven high, which has got me running 76 mile an hour. I can't go no back. I, would, I could reach 75 mile an hour at 16th here. Yeah. And that's how I, and honestly, that's how I drove a whole trip running with Rag 2. Was I just do it in, um, instead of me dealing with fruit, I just do it in, I got up to uh, 16th. And that'd be the end of it. Oh Jesus! Oh my Take trouble, God! Take trouble! My God! Safe travel, driver. What'd you do? Oh, <laughs> how did you get down there? How in the hell did you get down there? I glanced before I hit the take the toe button. I glanced to see what distance you were, and I was gonna wait just long enough for you to. See. <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious. That is the best. How did right. you get over there? Oh man, how did I get over there? Um, well, did you ram the wall. No, I, I clipped a barrier that a divider barrier that was dividing the on ramp from off ramp interstate. I clipped mm -hmm. the edge of that and then I overcorrected and I literally I'm I'm riding on wheels and that right front that left front is in the air and I just I just drove right over the wall I, there, that, there, that's there, a highlight that's a highlight bro that's a real highlight what are you talking about and we still had stream highlights that's the best highlight right there like, that's not even a joke where are you at now um, where did it take you uh, it took me to me to slow down? No, go ahead. I'm not that far away. Safe travels, drivers. Safe. Oh. Safe, convoy. That was too fun. I, was, I wish I could have seen it. Oh. Uh, I wish you could have seen it too. Cause you'd have been like, sweet. I would have probably laughed my ass off. Yeah, well, you would have. Cause let's put it like this: as soon as I went over that dividing wall, bro, 
from the northbound lanes or the southbound lanes. As soon as I went over that wall, the only thing I saw was road. And I'm like, oh <laughs> crap. And then I'm You're lucky there wasn't an oncoming trucker. Oh yeah, that's the biggest thing. Well, see, the thing was, as soon as I knew I was going over the wall, I was like, oh crap, I'm sure. And then I saw that other truck in my in my thing. <laughs> like, for real, I really hope he's already just gone. And sure enough, he has. I heard you and him yakking. And I'm like, thank you, thank you. And I just reached up real fast and I hit the button. I put that inner button. Oh my god. Did that miss a damn turn? No, I didn't. I thought we did too. But we're not that far out. I'm five hours and nine minutes away. Don't tell me to turn around. You probably missed the curve. There we go. No, I didn't think I came up on. Okay. I'm coming out on value. Yeah, I missed the damn turn. Nice. Was three something now, four twenty six. Yeah, I missed my damn bird. Nice. I missed it between Seattle. I get to add more to my trip. It means I might push 3,000 miles for this load. Nah, look at you go. Which is some. Um, I've been trying to do a 3,000 mile load. No, that's... Here, here's the fun part about that. If you ever want to do a 3,000 mile load, and those... those crowd... that crowd that you're over there with, at Rag Chew, if nobody over there wants to run a 3,000 mile run with you, I got you. No, they'll run them, if I can find them. They like running the long loads. Yeah, but see, my thing is, they don't... They probably run 90% of the time what the DPS says to them. They won't uh, take a short run and reroute it like we do. Yeah. I, I really haven't had to I like rerouting. I like rerouting those runs like that, though, because they're not bad. Usually, like, I mean, like on that stuff, if they let me choose the route, I'll go ahead and reroute it. I know you will. And you'll reroute it the way we do it. They'll be like, John, why in the world? Hey, you want miles or you want miles? I'm a blast. I really am. Yeah, well... I ain't even on cruise right now. I just got to hammer down. 
but I'm still I'm still under 80 though. And the nice thing about it is, it's like if you ever want to if you want to call BS on it, well, yeah. Never mind. I I can't I can't say that because unfortunately I can't. I don't have. I know what happened. They wanted me to do a big ass U turn and I went straight. And then I turned around and missed it because, yeah, it was being a pain. I'm only running a 20,000 pound load. I hit the parking brake as one of, one of the buttons I hit is apparently the parking brake on the keyboard. Mm -hmm. I just started randomly pressing buttons just to see what the button was. The button. And um, I hit the parking brake button, bro. That thing came to a stop on it. Wow. And it wasn't a little hill either. It was a big dude. Oh, oh, crap. So I had to, because the truck was rolling backwards. I couldn't get the clutch to engage in a timely enough fashion because it was rolling backwards. So I had to park and brake, dropped it into low low, and then let the clutch out really easy like, and then right about the time I felt like the clutch was biting, because you can't really tell it. Yeah. Right about the time I felt like the clutch was biting, I slapped that park and brake button and took the park and brake off. <laughs> and it started crawling up the hill and I switched it up with one, and then I jumped high. I hopped over to three, and then I hopped four low. Stayed in the low range the whole time, and it was jumped up. I wanted to be. I hit the split, went up to five low, and it was it was like no. Mm, good God! Oh my God! Let's go. <laughs>
typed in fort slash fix myself and it was like, yeah, unknown system command. And I'm all like, but why? And then I read the, I read what I typed and I'm like, oh. I don't like cap. Two lane road. No, this is on. Did you miss a marker? No, I didn't. This is on 500. It's, it's taking me back because I probably did miss a marker. Oh my god. But it wanted me to do a big ass U turn, and I was like, no, I don't want to do that. No, I'm sorry. No, there ain't no way I would pull over and clear that marker out. How you ain't here yet? That's why. I, and then I realized, oh yeah. Oh wow, for real. Porsche. Well, at least I repaired the truck. You ain't gonna believe what just happened to me. It done. Apparently, my inner waves. Oh, yeah, I can hear you. Okay, good, because the whole time, I, if you said anything to me over the last two or three minutes, I ain't hear it. I heard, I heard you disconnect. Yep. I disconnected because apparently we had a, uh, my computer decided it was going to have a bit. So, yeah, um, I got, uh, I got dropped from MP, but I was able to get back on the road. I was able to continue on to make the delivery. I had a couple of interesting situations happen while I was in the midst of trying to drive and reset my network. 
wireless card. That was fun. But I mean, as close as I am to the destination, there was no point in logging out and logging oh, back in. Uh, that only takes you a second off the video. Oh my god. What in the world? You don't even know what she just said. Oh, please tell me. It should take you five minutes to open a bottle of Tylenol. <laughs> no, put it back. I got you two out. No. Because you don't listen. It took me. Yeah, it told me. I would have opened a bottle, which only took me a second. That's five minutes. Wow, you're impatient. Say it. No. Yeah. Uh, well, you can let him in too. Turn left and then turn right. Your, it's your turn. I, I let him out earlier. Turn right. You might as well say it because you already said something. I'll say it. She knows she's in the patient. You have arrived at your destination. Your route guide is now clear. I paid two hundred and one thousand dollars for my load. Do what? I paid two hundred and one thousand dollars. Jeez. I did not pay. I did not get paid anything. I, as a matter of fact, they asked me to cut them a check when I got there. <laughs> so, yeah, that happened. Oops. <laughs> well, I mean, that damage penalty was 24 points. Uh, percent? <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, four, I got 4% percent damage. <laughs> what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Well, well not going to hurt us. We got plenty of money. <laughs> Who are you telling? I mean,. It was a fun little test. I mean, we'll see. I don't know. I hope everybody who's watching enjoys it. Um, if you do, put it in the comments. Let me know. If you'd like to see some more of this goofiness with, you know, people just yakking and driving and stuff. Um, you want to see some GTA? You want to see some Star Trek? You want to see me actually play and be Dead, dead. Let me know. No, I'm not looking at the sky. I'm looking at you. But yeah, just let me know. If you want to see it, put it in the comments. Like on it. Yeah, as you're supposed to do. Hopefully, the server is happy. Anyhow. Yeah.